Well, nothing so far. Apparently the fact that you're stuck in here actually improves your mood. Um, I'm going to save. I mean, you're beyond going to break here. And I don't think there's much I can do about it, because your rest is at full, your recreation's at full. You're having food. I mean, you're above the threshold where I could send you out for more food. Jack's having a daze. Party's over. Pearl's no longer binging. They've already left. Alright, so how long do I have still to do on this quest? Six and a half days. Oh, sweet pea, you actually had some food on you? See, you're about as happy as it is possible for you to get. And you are still this low. There's the mood again. Hadn't realised just how unstable you are. Two of you in extreme break risk. Kaida and Sweet Pea. Because of your also on withdrawal. 
flipping hell. Well, I have to say, don't do this quest. If any of you are playing this in the future, because, wow, it's broken. And you're going to go and slaughter somebody, apparently. Feeling better? Well, oh, meat's back on the menu. Wait, what? Oh, still murdering stuff. Great. So what, you killed three? One mare and one muffalo, no, you killed two. How do you get... Jack ignores this. And he's going to keep on going in there. I do wonder if Sweet Pea actually flips out if he's going to ignore that or not. Now, have we gotten far enough where he chooses a different freakout than murder? See, I'm gonna let you get some food and then we're putting you right back in there again. Insanity is having a tantrum. Psychic for smooth for females. You're not female, though, are you? Oh, you are. Okay. So things have just gotten a little bit better for you. Ocean's having inspired creativity. Nice. Right, so the other thing that I want to do is put Shadow Hawk in here and then deconstruct you. And then also deconstruct that. And then we'll put Insanity's bed in here. And hopefully the fact that you can have better sleeping arrangements is going to help you. A stew keeper is passing by. Pearl starving. Well, you can just get up. <laughs> get up and eat something then.
We're out of wood. That's quite bad. Alright, better. Now we have wood supplies at least, so we can keep the, uh, the ovens going. I'm getting a lot of good blocks going, so we're going to be able to do a pretty hefty rebuild once the toxic fallout has ceased. I'm a little bit concerned about the winter though, seeing as it's already the 8th of August, which should be the harvesting time, and we're going to have no food. Like, none. Again. Getting through this winter is going to be one hell of a fight. Again. What was I checking? I want to see how long we got to deal with this stupidity for. 4.8 days more. How are you all doing for Fallout? Yeah, see, you're not really doing a very good job of staying indoors. Right, this is now Duke's bed. Oh, you killed the stallion! At least you're not murdering one of us. Research finished, yay. And we've got a meteorite of steel. Okay, that's going to be useful. And we've got a great bow. Craft great bows for killing enemies at great range. And another one down. Feeling better? At least you have catharsis now. Wow, are you rotting already? That was quick. Alright, next, I want to make a double bed. In there, and I want it to be excellent. Requin and Mal Kitty Kitty have formed a bond. That's not going to end well. 
because everything inevitably dies. Ah, oh, good. So this is Blue Ocean and Silver Knight. So Requen, go ahead and deconstruct that. Alright, good. So everyone should now have a decent bed. Except for the guards, but we don't care about them and the prisoners. So we need to have one more excellent bed, but I think I'm not going to build it right now because I do need to save wood. Sweet peas in a daze again. Catharsis, psychic smooth, soothe, and you still freak out. Look how good the mood is. Ah. Uh. Oh, needs treatment, let me guess. Uh, no. Oh, it's literally you need treatment. Okay. Blue ocean. Plate, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Sixty five percent armor. That's pretty good stuff. Except for the fact I don't want you wearing it. <laughs> so you come over here, Blue Ocean, come over here. I do that because Blue Ocean is our swordsman. Wearing plate in bed. Nice. How are we doing? Three and a half days more. Yeah, we're out of food. <laughs> it's over. Psychic Soothers ending. Alright, great. Not the fallout, though. Wait, has it? Ah, oh, yes! Quickly! Go so! Everyone! All three of you that survived. Oh man, that was hideous. Is there any wildlife? Nope. 
So I have no idea what we're eating, except maybe you. Seven simple meals out of that muffalo that we killed. And here, yeah, I'm going to need all of you growing right now. Blue Ocean and Silver Knight are starting the marriage ceremony. Cool. And they're now celebrating. Couldn't have done this during the fallout, could you? You know, when everyone was stuck inside. As opposed to the day after, where you need to go out and actually grow stuff! Now we're having team planting. There we go. That's how you get that done quickly. <laughs> now the question is, are we going to get a crop out of this? Because I'm not convinced. 10th of August? I'm not convinced at all. Starving. Ah, that's a problem. Sorry. One horse. That's all that survived. Oh no, two horses. I say you could take the meat. I did not. Simple meal, how somebody else had taken it already. Alright, now we're actually, whoops, cooking. And we desperately need some more wood. So that we can actually keep cooking. 